as he comes a three attempt from Pack, no good. And now some more chippiness, and they need to separate the players. It was Lamia Littlejohn for Gardner Webb up against Jasmine Jackson. Here we take a look, just both going for the ball. <laughs> and then you see Jackson. So it looked like an early fend-off swipe by Charleston Southern's Jackson, Jasmine Jackson, that is. So still and a lot to unpack here. This is on the heels of the Elasia Smith and Madison Adamson back and forth. That resulted in nothing. And we'll see if there's anything added to this. Well, I, I think they're going to call at least a flagrant one. Uh, on Jackson, perhaps a two. And then it wouldn't surprise me if they do the same with Little John, at least flagrant one. And the fact that the, the crowd can watch the video boards here in the arena, that's why we've got so many uh, fans trying to make a decision for yeah. the referees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we definitely have a, a lively atmosphere here in Gulf Water Arena tonight. Do you ever find that that sways the officials a little bit? Say do again? Got, do you ever find that it sways the officials a little bit when you got a whole group of fans? Well, and, and one way or another? Official, they, they've got a tough job to do, you know, no matter what. And and they're not paying attention to the, to the crowd right now. They want to get this right because they get evaluated every game as well. Asia Smith versus Adamson. So you're hoping that that would sort of ease the tension. Well, There's definitely a little more of a tense atmosphere in this game than the score might indicate. Early in the fourth quarter here, Gardner-Webb already out to a 29-point lead. At the other end, let's play hard. We're not getting any calls. But we may not deserve any calls, so don't lose your composure. Because if you do, you're going to be out the next game too, maybe more. And to think this also did happen at the end of the Gardner Webb versus High Point game, a similar sort of scenario at the end of what was turned into another somewhat dominant win. You got to love the grit on one end for Gardner Webb. I mean, they continue to play through anything, no matter what their lead is. Meanwhile, Charleston Southern, a team that's kind of found itself later in the year, they won its last, they won their last two games. Now they're, this game sort of gotten out of reach, but Charleston Southern, you can see that this team is starting to gel a little bit more, and uh, they're not giving up on this game either. And it's really you know, just two teams out here competing to the end. But uh, there's probably no room for some of this. No, it's just it's an unfortunate deal. In, in, uh... 2022, right before the new year. There's always that thing, second round of conference play, which is the fun part of a 10-team league, is everyone sees each other twice, home and road. As now it looks like we might be closer to a ruling as Clarice Garcia, head coach. Little John are leaving the floor. And yeah, I did not know Jessica Williams would face any ramifications from this, but Jessica Williams and Lamia Littlejohn are trotting off the floor, and then two players for Charleston Southern are headed off. That's Shamaya Lay, as well as Jasmine Jackson. So we're listening to the call. So we know we have a double foul. So Jackson and Little John, we were both distributed the, call, the double foul. They were both ejected. Jessica Williams has been ejected because she was on the bench and she came out onto the court, I believe, if, it, if I heard that correctly. And the same thing for Shamaya Lay. So two additional players ejected from this game, including the favorite for conference player of the year, Jessica Williams, for coming off the bench. And now a technical foul distributed to the Gardner-Webb head coach, Alex Simmons. 